Hi, Hiram here. What I'm going to do today is test, do a boil test on this Epicurean Classic stove that John over at Flat Cat Gear sent to me. Basically it has a bottom part, this is where the fuel goes, the espit cube, and this is the simmering that goes on top. Now you can burn it, but use the stove just like this with the espit cube in the center. This is called the high mode. According to the instruction sheet here, uh, a single espit cube should boil two cups of water in about eight minutes and then burn for another 60 minutes on simmer. And I want to, I, I find that fascinating. Just want to see if that'll happen. So I have the Epicurean here. I made a small hardware cloth, it all, or hardware cloth pot stand. It also says that the pot should be 1.8 inches off of the table or surface. So what I'll do now is get my water prepped and I'll be right back. Okay, I scraped the top of the cube to give me some cube, some uh, crumbs. Let me see if I can light it. Yeah, it looks like it's looks like it's lit. I'll put the hardware cloth stand on. Here's two cups of water. That just went up. 61 degrees. When it's hot like this, it's hard for me to get my temperature to 60 degrees. What I have here is John's Epicurean classic stove. I think he said he only has a couple more of these. He's changed the design uh, into something using titanium. Pretty cool little thing. So what we'll see now is see how long it takes for one 14 gram cube of aspit to bring this to a boil. Then I'll put the simmering on and see how long the cube lasts. So let's go from here. Okay, this is five minutes into the burn. Uh, I don't know what this is really going wild. Uh, big flame, uh, much bigger than what I thought it would be. It does have the the uh, standard espit smell, and I don't know what can I say. This is five minutes in. There we have two ten. To 11, come on, 212 and 739, okay, that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, came to a full boil in 7 minutes 39 seconds. Now let me put this Simmering on, put the pot stand back in place, and the pot on top of that, and let's see how long this takes till run out. Okay, now here's the espit cube. Uh, I now have the simmering on there. I can't tell if the low flame is because of the simmering or because the cube is pretty shrunk by now. Okay, it looks like the flame is just about, it looks like it's out at 1616 let's say. And the temperature is still at 212. Okay, let me dump this out. So we can see what the bottom of the pot looks like. I think you can see there's youch. There's some residue on the bottom. Not as bad as what it is on some other tests that I've done. And you see that? Pretty much just the one spot right over the uh, stove was a little offset. 
So there's a little bit of a little bit of soot there. I should have brought a rag or something to see how much how easy it comes off. But a Brillo pad on that and it'll come right off. Inside the stove. I can see that there's some uh, some little bit of liquid. Can you see that? This is very warm. And the ring is all right. So that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Room temperature is 84, 63% humidity. Uh, the two cups came to a boil in 7 minutes 39 seconds and then when I put the simmer ring on like that it burned until 1616 so that's about what another 9 minutes almost 9 minutes I think looking back on this the instructions say in the simmer mode a single ESPIT tablet will burn for about 60 minutes. I think that must mean doing this right away on a new ESPIT cube. If there's an interest in that, I'll give it a try. But uh, This brought the water to a boil in 7 minutes 39 seconds and then with the simmer ring on, continued to burn till 1616, keeping the water at 212. Interesting. So I thank John from Flat Cat Gear from sending me this to try out. I guess my next step will be trying this with cooking, or baking rather. Now the one thing with this is he's using what he calls his Bobcat Gear, which is a way different setup than what I have here with a windshield and the whole thing. But this is just using it with a hardware cloth, quarter inch hardware cloth. So I'm going to get some little bit different times. So anyway, I thank John. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. If you've used this stove, let me know what you think of it. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.